So at that point, we'll reassemble. We'll check the fluids. A short run of the soil to test run it, and we're back back in service. So position the uh, cylinder cover back on the saw, tighten the three screws. Reinstall the filter cover, or the carb cover. And we'll reinstall the air filter. And you don't want to over tighten the uh, filter clamp to the point where we cut the rubber. So we'll basically just snug that clamp up and I can pull lightly on the filter, it won't, won't pull off the saw. Reinstall the dry pre-wrap. And we're ready to install the bar and chain. So when installing the bar and chain, what I want to do is I want to flip it. Uh, cutter's edge was that way when it was on the saw. So when I put it on the saw, I want the cutter's edge upside down. So what I'm doing is I'm flipping the bar, so we're using uh, the other side. When I install the chain on the bar, what I want is along the top of the bar, the bullets will be facing forward. So basically the bullet or the raker will be facing forward. And then seat the drive links in the sprocket. Make sure your chain's on. Install the clutch cover. Now when installing the clutch cover, the chain was tensioned. So I hold a little pressure down and I back the tensioning stud back until the cover drops down on where it should be. So basically what you want is you want this surface on the front of the saw um, to be tight. If that's standing up, you can actually uh, cause, break some, cause some damage to the clutch cover because you're tightening the bar nuts down against the bar stud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on and they're just finger tight. So you notice my chain is hanging down. So I pull up on the bar tip and to make sure that that is seated correctly in the sprocket, I always want to pull that chain around three or four times, so I make sure that back here on the sprocket, the chain is seated correctly. And I'm going to go about tensioning the chain. So basically what I want to do is bring that chain up until it touches the bar. Then I'll run it around again. Pull the bar up. And what I want to do is pull that down and that chain should snap back up there. So that chain's a little loose, so I'll add a little more tension. Pull that down, exposing several drive links, and it snaps back up in there. At that point, then I tighten the bar nuts.
and get a little tension on those. At that point, we're going to check our fuel and oil level. So we lay it down on the rear handle, fill that up till it comes to the bottom of the, oil, the fuel fill. And we check our bar oil and we're good to go. We take it out and do a short run and put the sole back in service. So that was a 2100 maintenance. And that maintenance, that same procedure can be used on any branded chainsaw.